Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of my journey with myositis. Uh, those of you who haven't seen episode 1, I'm going to put a card here, I think, where you click on. It'll take you to watch episode 1 if you want to watch it. Um, for those of you that have already seen it, I'm going to give a quick summary uh, before we continue with episode 2. So in episode 1, I went over the symptoms that I had been experiencing and the uh, different doctor's visits that I've had now that I've kind of gotten this diagnosis of myositis. Uh, the main symptoms were, you know, weight loss, atrophy of the shoulders, the throat muscles, uh, and some in the quadriceps. So um, going forward, you know, just to keep better track of the information, the data points, I'm going to be displaying these graphics on the screen, you know, like a heads-up display kind of thing. And there will be icons and color codes. Uh, right now, I mean, we only really have one data point that we spoke about in episode one. That is that my weight is above 89% of where it needs to be, I think, to me. And so you can see there's going to be an icon up there. Uh, it's got a color and it says 89% that's for my weight at the end, this, end of this episode we will be adding a few more icons for the things that we'll be looking at today so today uh, we're going to be looking at some of the ways that myositis is affecting my daily living uh, and this is prior to treatment I haven't started treatment yet I will be starting treatment very soon and so this is a good time to capture these baseline data points uh, today we're going to look at how myositis affects my driving and also how it affects my piano playing. If you could call it that. Whatever it is when I'm trying to make music on the piano, we will be looking at how I'm affected um, because of myositis. So just let's just get started. Um, we're going to go for a drive. Let's head out to the garage. Oh, and this would be the time for you to turn up the bass, crank it, because this song that is going to be accompanying the car section is a song that I like a lot. And I'm actually going to be giving up any monetization of this video because I'm using a copyright song. So, we'll see you in the garage. inside my car. Uh, I wanted to demonstrate a little bit of how I'm affected with myositis uh, when I'm in the car. So normally the gear shift, manual transmission is no problem. First gear, second gear, third and fourth are no problem. Fifth and sixth can be a bit difficult because I have to push out. I don't really have to struggle but sometimes I might lean a bit just to make sure I get it out there for fifth and sixth. Um, I can kind of well, I can't really use the environmental controls either. You see, I can't really hold that arm up there. I mean, I can rest it here on the e-brake and touch those. But I can't reach the volume, uh, the power on the radio. So, I mean, I'll fling my hand up off the steering wheel and kind of do that. Or uh, I'll use the left arm because the left arm is still working pretty good at this point. Um, hopefully, this is the bottom of my disabilities and we can improve from there. Um, that's really all there is to show on the inside of the car. But... I wanted to talk about my car, and that's what we're doing in this video. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a very family-friendly car. Uh, it does have two seats in the back, and we have the two car seats, and I am able to fit my children in there. Um, we have done family trips in this car. 
probably three times. I think the longest trip was probably 25 minutes. But uh, it's doable. It also makes for a good date night. Rear wheel drive. It's got that boxer engine, the toy barus. Um, these are really cool cars. So, I mean, this car has the Subaru engine in it. The body was designed by Toyota. I don't know how much you guys know about cars, but I mean, that's pretty neat. Um, the boxer engine gives the car a really good low center of gravity. And I've never done this. I swear to God, I really have never done this. But this car is a drift machine. And um, the 86 was really popular a long time ago. Um, they made an anime out of it. Eventually they made a movie. It's called Initial D. Uh, that was the first anime I ever watched. And I got hooked. I really liked it. Um, the music that you guys heard, or maybe the music that you guys will hear. I don't know if, how I'm going to cut the video. It's a problem. Um, it's from Initial D. So there's really good uh, music. And... Yeah, let's let's go for a drive. Maybe a little bit of stuff with mirrors as well. So, signal. Hello everyone, uh, we're going to do a quick demo of how the myositis is affecting my ability to play the piano. It is uh, August 24th and uh, we're just going to first of all see uh, how far to the right and the left I can reach with my hands uh, in a normal uh, playing ability. So first we're going to show the left hand and show that uh, it really doesn't have any problems. I can make it all the way down to A1. So that's no problem at all. Uh, however, for the right hand, um, <clears throat> one, two, three. Middle C is C4, uh, and with my pinky, I really can only make it to C6. Once I try to get to that next D, I, I can't really hold my arm up there. I'd have to throw my hand. So, you know, I can move it out there, but I can't really support it. So really, this pinky only gets to there. I can't really, well, I guess I can kind of do that, but I'm kind of cheating. Uh, but that's basically as far as it gets. The last thing we're going to do now, uh, I'm going to play a little song, uh, because I can still play the piano even though my hand doesn't really reach out to the side, um, but you'll see how my body kind of has to adjust. Um, I'll let the video speak for itself. Of course, in order to see it more clearly, I will have to remove my shirt. Again, I apologize. I've actually never seen that discoloration on my back before. 
Uh, I can't actually see that part of my back when I look in the mirror, and I don't really look at my back in the mirror very often. So it turns out it was a pretty good thing that I removed my shirt in order to film the piano section. Um, oddly enough, when I told Stacy I was planning to remove my shirt, she gave me that look that she so often gives me. Um, I call it the look of, I'm just not that impressed with you right now. And she does give me that look quite frequently because I do a lot of things that are not impressive. Um, speaking of looks, I am hoping to incorporate some viewer participation in some of the future episodes where if you want to give me a look um, that I could use in the videos as a reactionary face, uh, please send pictures of your face to myositisjourney at gmail.com. Uh, looks of horror, disgust, laughter, shock, um, sadness, well, whatever looks you think that you would like to share with me, I will try to incorporate them into future videos. Um, I did show the discoloration to my doctor. I had an appointment with a rheumatologist today. Um, she says that it doesn't look like a rash. It looks like a pigmentation issue. And I've even started to wonder if maybe this is a symptom of my handicap that I'm not bathing properly, maybe I'm not rubbing that part of my body properly with soap. Um, I'll monitor it. Uh, maybe I will update you guys about it. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, so that's that with the discoloration. I would also like to apologize to those of you who did not wish to see me topless in episode because I've now been topless in episodes one and two. I assure all of you that eventually there will be an episode where I remain fully clothed for the entirety of the episode. Um, that will come one day and I'm sure there will be great celebration throughout the land. Um, I did want to mention also with the mirror orientation uh, video that having the mirrors turned out gives you much more awareness of what's around you because you can just see so much more but it is still necessary to shoulder check you know having very small blind spots doesn't mean we don't have to shoulder check and in fact um, especially when you're in uh, like when there are three lanes you do have blind spots still for the second lane over where you can't see cars that are there and if they're trying to change into a lane you're changing into you know just we still have to shoulder check um, let's look at the new graphics for what we've discovered today so we're going to pop up the graphic for car driving ability. We're going to pop up the graphic for left hand piano and finally right hand piano. The colors are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I think that's all we have for today. If you like my channel, please click the subscribe button. Um, when episode 3 comes out, there will be a link here for that. And I will see you guys again next week. Peace out. There's one more thing. Uh, I know many of you are just dying to know how, how did Kevin get these incredible first-person perspective shots while he was driving. And uh, good news for all of you, I'm willing to share my secret. Uh, I took a photo just before filming those incredible scenes, and this was my tactic. 3M Skin Tape, amazing product, excellent hold. That is all.